What's up, YouTube? It's Boston Spoofy91 coming back at you on Thursday. So if you didn't see, go check out my video earlier. It's a quick opinion review of the most recent Absolute Power uh, Super Sun. Wasn't crazy about it, but hey, go check that out. This one is all about Agatha. Agatha all on drop last night on Disney Plus. Watched it last night, back to back, episodes one, episode two. And overall, man, oh man, I loved it. So episode one was awesome. Solid nine out of ten. Everything. I'm not going to give away too many spoilers. I'm, I'm not going to ruin much. But it starts off with Agatha in a scenario. She's a detective. And, and that leads us to, you know, the end of the episode where there's a really cool scene where it's the nod back to WandaVision and all her different outfits that she wore throughout WandaVision. It was really, really awesome. First episode, 9 out of 10. Great. Stand in ovation. Loved it. The second episode. Not as great. So, again, I'm going to try not to give too many spoilers, but they might be minor ones. Agatha needs to get the coven together. She needs to get... Uh, what's it, four witches together so they can go down the witch road, which essentially will give her back her powers and, and these other witches the powers or, or, you know, things that they want. Um, so when they reach the end of this road, they're going to be rewarded and whatever the reward they want, and, and that's what they'll get. So that's where we are on episode two. And episode two was mostly about Agatha putting this coven together, finding the pieces, finding the white, right witches, finding the right witches. For her coven and, and really getting the, the ball rolling on, you know, what the rest of the series is going to be. The, episode one was the introduction, which was phenomenal. If you don't love episode one, there's something wrong with you. Episode two, don't get me wrong, it was good, but I'm sitting here saying episode one was a nine out of ten. Episode two was more five and a half, six. I, I just didn't love episode two, didn't do it for me. Uh, some of the uh, supporting characters that they've introduced kind of annoy me. I'm not, again, I'm not going to say who yet. You know, when we get a little bit further down the road, sure, I'll, I'll give some names and characters, but I don't want to spoil too much yet. Hasn't even been 24 hours since it dropped. So check it out. It's worth the watch. It's a fun show, and I have a feeling it's only going to get more fun. It's going to get spooky. It's going to get very Halloween-y. It's going to be awesome. It, overall, when you can, the two episodes, you know, out of 10 with both of them together, it's a solid seven, seven and a half. Check it out. It's a fun show. Agatha is a lot of fun. She's, she's funny in a weird way, you know, her, her, her facial expression, some of, some of the things she'll say. So, uh, you know, I don't want to go on too much here because I really don't want to give anything away for those who haven't seen it, but Agatha all on. Check it out on Disney+. Plus. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun to watch. And I am looking forward to next week's episode three. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. Leave your comments down below. Who did you like? Who don't you like? What did you like? What didn't you like? You know, just let's, ha let's have an Agatha conversation. I'm really excited for it. And uh, hey, let me know what you think because I'm really curious. I think it's a great show. Very fun show. Uh, hope you all feel the same way. And uh, hey, Penguin tonight. Enjoy it. And we'll talk a little Penguin tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Peace.